हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू आई मेड मी थिंक वीडियो सीरीज ट्यूटोरियल फॉर रेस्ट एपी आई टेस्टिंग एंड ऑटोमेशन यूजिंग रूबी एज अ प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज सो वी हैव सीन आवर ऑटोमेशन कोड एंड वी हैव सीन द इनिशियल डिस्कशन अबाउट हाउ टू टेस्ट एंड वॉट टू टेस्ट इन एन एप्लीकेशन वी हैव सीन ए सिंपल गेट एंड पोस्ट रिक्वेस्ट एंड द इनिशियल कोडिंग ऑफ द ए पी आई टेस्टिंग यूजिंग नेट एच टी टी पी जेम वी हैव ऑल्सो सीन द स्पेसिफिकेशन डॉक्यूमेंट वेर इन डिटेल लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स आर ऑलरेडी मैंशन अबाउट वॉट रिक्वेस्ट एंड वॉट यू आर आई एंड वॉट इज द एंड पॉइंट अवर टॉमकेट इज ऑल्सो रनिंग लोकली so in this video series in this last video we will see the actual implementation of all the six scenarios so scenario number 1 2 3 are positive scenario number 3 4 5 6 are negative scenarios we have also seen the uh, little bit coding structure or the project structure of uh, ruby based projects and we have seen the ide that is ruby mine ide so uh, this is where the initialization i have done for each and every scenario and then actually calling the methods so here for simplicity i have implemented the methods as a step here so get sign up parameter actual sign up activate basic account sign in and sign out so like with the like this only i have de i have defined the methods which is easy to understand now we have seen the get and post request so uh, all the get request are all almost similar all are only url parameters post is all form parameter so delete is also a url parameter but uh, the the difference would be so the difference would be we are calling a delete method here and it is a url parameter and then url parameter will be of this type for example delete so sign out basic account is a delete uh, method sign out okay so sign out delete method and the actual request has to be like this so this is the end point this is the end point and the url parameters are these are the url parameters so query parameters are this sign out email id and password so if you see this is the http local host all till sign out question mark sign out email id equal to the real email id and so this is all the url parameter session id is also a url parameter so this is how we need to cook the url we need to cook the uh, url parameter and this is the base url or the end point and this is the delete request so <coughs> method are defined in align to the method name uh, in align to the step in the scenario so let us take a high level uh, look of scenario number 1 so scenario number 1 uh, what i am doing is i am getting the parameter i am actually creating an account then i am activating that account and then i am doing a sign up and i am doing a sign out okay scenario 2 scenario 2 also Uh, uh, get activate account is the same then i am doing a sign in and uh, i am getting the basic uh, account profile details and i am modifying it basically i am modifying the first name and last name so during the registration here i will provide some default uh, last name and first name now after creating and activating the user i am again modifying the first name and last name so which is totally logical and then once i create once i uh update the once i modify basic account profile detail then i am doing just a get basic account profile details again and i am just comparing with the reference if everything is okay fine and i am doing a sign out so that is the scenario number 2 this is the scenario number 2 scenario number 3 is also same so uh, sign up activate the account sign in forget password and reset password and then sign out and then sign in with the new password so scenario sequence 4 is a negative test case so we will see what is sequence 4 so sequence 4 get the sign up parameter 
and actual sign up so actually creating an account and then sign in but now if you see as per the specification uh, whenever we create an account it has to be activated first then only we can sign in so if this step the step number 4.3 should fail because the account is not yet activated obviously step number 4.5 which is sign out that will also fail because you have not at all signed in you have not at all activated that account so it is a negative test case or negative scenario scenario number five so i am getting a sign up parameter i am doing actual post sign up so i am creating an account i am activating that account i am doing a sign in and get basic account profile details with content type as xml now if we see as per the specification the application accepts json format and produces json format only now when we are sending a request with content type as xml which the application the web application does not understand xml so this step should fail so this is a negative test case negative scenario again delete sign out basic account basic account with acceptable content type as xml so here it is content type and it is accept type acceptable content type so in, in this test case what we are doing is we are sending a delete sign out request to the server to the web application but we are saying that our accept type is xml so now as per the specification the web application accepts only json and produces only json so now we are say, we are asking the application hey produce xml which is not correct so this method or this step should also fail so that is why it is a negative scenario step number six uh, scenario number six so uh, i am actually creating an account here and i am create after creating an account i am just directly doing a sign out so that is also wrong because once we create an account we cannot sign in we have to activate that account and then we can do any other operation so this step should also fail obviously forget password should also fail obviously get account profile details should also fail now the server is running in the tomcat is already hosting the application and it is running in parallel in backend so let me run the test case once again let me run the automation for entire six scenarios okay so i think within maybe 30 seconds or 40 seconds it has run all six scenarios which is good so that is why we prefer uh, api testing using programming language so now if you see let us take one by one example scenario number one so uh, get sign up parameter so that is what it is success and it has it has got the parameters this is these are the sign up parameters post sign up so post sign up means we, i am creating an account i am getting a 201 that means account created successfully if you see basic account created successfully is the is the uh, is the response we dis we discovered we got it from the server get activate basic account so i have activated my basic account so that is what i am getting a 200 post sign in so i am doing a doing a sign in using post method which is also successful so i created an account i activated it and then i am able to sign in then delete sign out so i am uh, signing out so delete sign out is also successful here i am getting 200 if you see basic account sign out successful message also we have received then scenario number 2 2.1 so 2.1 is same like first get the parameter and then we create that account so we are getting 201 here then activate that account so we got 200 sign in uh, with post so we got 200 and then get account basic profile detail so that also successful we got 200 and modify account so before modifying if you see first name and last name is sheldon cooper now <clears throat> i am doing a put to modify the basic account so remember put request put and post so put is basically to update some data in backend so that is why it is a put request so i am changing the first name and last name here so it is also successful after that i am just doing once again get basic account profile details just to verify the cro to cross check 
now it is printing new name earlier it was sheldon cooper now it is jack black so modifying account profile details is also successful and delete sign out so i am doing a sign out using delete method that is also successful scenario 3 3.1 get account profile uh, get account details then post sign up so uh, i have created an account activated that account sign in i have done a sign in and then forget password so forget password also successful and in the response we got secret questions and then i am doing a put reset password so i am doing a reset password basically so i am changing something in the back end so that is a put request so it has said successfully resetted the password and please use the following password following new password so this is the password this is the temporary password which is given back to the user and i am doing a sign out that is also success and then i am doing a sign in with the new password so that is also successful basic account sign in successful okay now scenario number 4 which is a negative scenario so remember get account profile get uh, get sign up parameter okay successful uh, post sign up so i have uh, successfully created an account and then i am doing a sign in so now you see i have got 400 it's a client side error client is making bad request because client has not activated that account client means the programmer so if you see the message user must activate the account to perform any such activity first okay so we have to activate that account now i am once again uh, in the similarly i am doing a delete uh, sign out so again i am i am getting a 400 user must activate the account to perform any such activity and i have i have got one internal exception that is 400 06 this is an internal uh, uh, exception then scenario number 5 so uh, it is also negative scenario let us see so getting the sign up parameter okay successful uh, sign up actual so i am create i have created an account so i have got 201 okay good then http activate basic account 200 i have got 200 then i am doing a sign in so sign in with uh, sign in is also successful now 5.5 get basic account profile detail with content type as xml so which is wrong it has to be json so if you are sending it the content type of the request as xml i am getting 415 following error response received error message this application can take input only json parameters please set the content type header to application slash json only and send the request so this is the uh, this is the response is correct it is a negative scenario uh, next i am doing what i am doing is sign out basic account with acceptable content type as xml so that is also not correct because i have to set it as json so i got 406 so 406 is for content type invalid and 415 is for accept type invalid so uh, once again the same matches this this application can generate output in json type please set the accept header to application slash json only okay now scenario 6 so uh, http post sign up so i have created an account i got 201 delete sign out i am getting for uh, 400 this is a bad request user must activate the account to perform any such activity so as i as i discussed earlier if any new account is created first thing is we need to activate that account if we cannot if we have an haven't activated that account we cannot do any operation like we cannot do sign in we cannot do sign out we cannot do modify anything nothing we can do so we cannot do sign out so that is what that is why it is failed then i am doing a, doing a forget password again it is saying 400 because user must activate the account to perform any such activity again i am doing get basic profile details that is also fail because it account is not activated okay so this is how i have tested the six different scenarios for the rest api in the uh, for the application which i have developed the user management application so this is how we do the api testing using ruby http net gem we can also do the same using many uh, different gems available 
so we can do it using rest client which is very popular in the community that we will see in the next tutorial series so these are the coming up items so auth 1.0 2.0 using ruby api testing uh, cookies cache relevant testing proxy handling more uh, header parameters so we have some additional he header parameters uh, authentication related and testing other methods such as head options patch purge uh, chain done multi-level api testing uh, related to payment gateway any suggestions are welcome the this entire source code is also available in github as i discussed earlier in the github just go to i made me think and uh, uh, web automation using rest api automation using ruby in that repository this source code is also available so thanks for watching and if you have any comments please put it in the comment section i will try to answer most of them and please like and comment and share the video among your friends once again thanks for watching